together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God in the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the secret mysteries. With humble heart, together we say, I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Enlighten, O God of compassion, the hearts of your children, sanctified by penance, in your kindness, grant those you steer to a sense of devotion, a gracious hearing when they cry out to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar said, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you will not serve my God or worship the golden statue that I set up? Be ready now to fall down and worship the statue I had made. Whenever you hear the sound of the trumpet, flute, lyre, harp, psaltery, bagpipe, and all the other musical instruments, otherwise you shall be instantly cast into the white hot furnace. And who is the God who can deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered King Nebuchadnezzar, there is no need for us to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If our God, whom we serve, can save us from the white hot furnace, and from your hands, O King, may he save us. But even if he will not know, O King, that we will not serve your God or worship the golden statue that you set up. King Nebuchadnezzar's face became livid with utter rage against Shadrach, Mexia, and Abednego. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times more than usual, and had some of the strongest men in his army bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the white hot furnace. Nebuchadnezzar rose in haste and asked his nobles, did we not cast three men bound into the fire? Assuredly, O king, they answered. But he replied, 
I see four men and unfettered and unheard walking in the fire, and the fourth looks like a son of God. Nebuchadnezzar exclaimed, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angel to deliver the servants who trusted in him. They disobeyed the royal command and yielded their bodies rather than serve or worship any god except their own god. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Bless are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And bless is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Bless are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Bless are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Bless are you who look into the depths from your throne above the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Glory and praise forever. Please stand. <laughs> Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield the harvest through perseverance. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to those Jews who believe in him, If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham and have never been enslaved to anyone. How can you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, Amen, amen, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave of sin. A slave does not remain in a household forever, but a son always remains. So if the son frees you, then you will truly be free. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, but you are trying to kill me because my word has no room among you. I tell you what I have seen in the Father's presence, then do what you have heard from the Father. They answered and said to him, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You are doing the works of your father. So they said to him, We were not born of fornication. We have one Father, 
God. Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me, for I came from God, and I am here. I did not come on my own, but he sent me. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Three days from now, we will now enter the Holy Week. Are we all ready to enter or to celebrate the sacred time, my dear brothers and sisters? Some of us could answer, yes, Father, I am now ready to celebrate or to commemorate the Paschal Mysteries. And some probably would answer, ongoing po, patuloy pa rin po akong naghahanda. My dear brothers and sisters, our gospel today is plenty of reminders why we need to have a good preparation for the upcoming Holy Week to commemorate the Paschal Mystery of our Lord. And today we are reminded of our identity, the identity of each of us is now uncovered. The identity of our Lord is now revealed. Jesus telling us today, mother, brothers and sisters, to remain in his words so that you will be with him as disciples. And this is a reminder for all of us, a reminder to embrace the Lord always. That is our priority in our lives. Jesus, my dear brothers and sisters, is our guide in our lives, allowing Jesus in our lives truly, we are all free. And we are freely experiencing His goodness and greatness coming from our God. And was one of the most familiar saying that we heard in our gospel today, and as a children of God, the truth will set you free. The truth will set you free. The very fundamental nature or the fundamental nature of an individual is to live in truth and with freedom. Ito po yung ating katotohanan araw-araw na dinadala. Tayo po ay naninirahan at tayo ay mga mukha ng katotohanan at isang kalayaan. As Filipino Catholics, mother, brothers, and sisters, one of our identities is to bring and living the truth, which is according to what Jesus is telling us today. The truth will set you free. My dear brothers and sisters, the truth equated to freedom. And freedom that we know, we can mean different things to different people. Facing the truth is often painful, but it can be liberating. What in sometimes you put out as a truth is not always the complete. The truth, one, particularly slant on an issue, we can easily be presented as a complete truth. But sad reality is that complete truth does not come our way easily. We have to keep on seeking the truth. Indeed, in some sense, complete truth it always beyond us. Denying the truth, my dear brothers and sisters, can lead us to commit sins. Automatically, pag tayo po hindi nagsasabi ng katotohanan, ito ay isang kasalanan. That is why we would say sometimes, and we call it, Father, I'm committing white lies. I'm committing white lies. Pero yung white lies, parang pinagagaan lang natin, 
Pero ang katotohanan, ang pagsabi ng kasinungalingan at pag hindi, pag hindi pagtanggap sa katotohanan ay isang kasalanan. Tila bagay, we classify or classify the sins that we commit through truthfulness. Pero ang katotohanan, tayo ay nagkakasala. Actually, my dear and sisters in general, in this sense, we are sinning. Everyone who commits and lives in sin, considered a slave of sin. And this is mentioned in our gospel today. Slave of sin. The image of that slavery of sin, my dear brothers and sisters, in effect, we would be loss of psychological freedom, moral integrity, and allowing this to happen in our lives, my dear brothers and sisters, it is now creating a pride, greedy, loss, and loss to dominate oneself. The virtue of truth should be our living because living in truth led us to freedom from being enslaved by our bad habits, prejudices, impatience, and ignorance. That's why as we journey in this season of Lent, Mother Bals and Sisters, we are remind us of our own in in enslavement of sin sa pagkakakulong natin sa ating mga paginagawang pagkakasala dahil nakakalimutan natin the very nature in us to live and truth. Because all of us, we are the image of God's truth. Katotohanan tayo palagi ng Diyos. Pero hindi natin ito sinasabuhay, kaya tayo ay nakagawa ng kasalanan at nakukulong sa mga kasalanan ginagawa natin at pinipili natin araw-araw. Jesus in our gospel today is the truth and we need to go back to his very message or the message very often to benchmark of our truth. Jesus always been consistent in his message and very clear. My dear brothers and sisters, sana ganun din po tayo araw-araw. We understand very clear that we are all image of God's truth. Tayo ay isang katotohanan ng Diyos. Jesus will set us free if we allow Him to rule over us and to have dominion over our lives. It is truly a fuller experience of freedom ang isang katotohanan na tayo ay may kalayaan. Kung tayo ay nabubuhay sa katotohan na bigay ng Diyos, tayo ay tunay na may kalayaan sa buhay. At yung kalayaan na yon sana hindi tayo nadadala sa kasalanan. But in reality, we want freedom. Pero yung freedom na yon saan na uuwi at the end of the day? Malaya kasi ako, buhay ko to. Pero kung tatandaan natin, kung ang buhay na yan, ay isang katotohanan ng Diyos, hindi kailanman magagawa ang paggawa ng kasalanan. Mother brothers and sisters, we are reminded today to live in His truth is to experience the fullness of life. Sa pagsasabuhay, sa katotohanan na bigay ng Diyos, ito ay kaganapan ng buhay. Katotohanan ng buhay. Kung ang katotohanan ng ating buhay ay ito'y mukha ng Diyos araw-araw, ito'y may kaganapan ng biyaya ng Diyos araw-araw din sa buhay natin. At kung tayo ay namumuhay sa kasinungalingan at sa paggawa ng kasalanan, ang buhay natin ay laging nakaamba sa kapahamakan. Mother brothers and sisters, huwag natin linlangin o dayain ang katotohanan na ito sa buhay natin. Sa pamamaraan, sa pagpili at paggawa ng kasalanan. Kailanman 
di tayo magtatagumpay. That's why we bring this today. Sinning is not our agenda. It is not our truth to live. Amen. Please stand. My dear brothers and sisters, God is the limitless source of truth, freedom, and power. We are limited in mind and spirit, but in, but in, but in, in body. Let us ask God to bring us and all persons to the fulfillment He intends for us. And every petition we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who seek the truth may have their minds opened and freed by the message of Jesus and His Church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our devout practices this Lenten season may serve to free us from bondage to excessive self-concern. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our involvement in the materialism of our day may not deter us in our request for everlasting life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick, the poor, the prisoners, the ignorant, and all those who suffer may find freedom from their life's burdens, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that the Lord may unbind the faithful departed and let them go free in the kingdom of his glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let us now pray for our personal intentions. Gracious Father, your son died that the people might know and live according to the truth. Free us from our own narrow views and self-interest so that our minds and hearts may grow toward you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all grace and goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of the human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for the goodness we have received, the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of the human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive back, O Lord, the sacrificial offerings which you have given to be offered to the honor of your name, and grant that they may become remedies of our healing to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for through the saving fashion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed in the authority of Christ crucified. 
And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full, full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and each of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice in once more, giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for it is the chalice of my blood the blood of a new and eternal covenant which you fought out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that heaven is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, may be God and to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember that the church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and will have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints you have preached throughout the ages, we merit to be coerced to eternal life and to praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and praying by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive those, those who trespass, trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. 
Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are the skull to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and, and my soul, soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, bring us heavenly medicine that they may purge all evil from our hearts and strengthen us with eternal protection to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Wednesday family rosary tonight at 9 p.m. will be hosted by the community of the San Jose Esposo, the Maria Parish, and San Miguel Bulacan. We are all invited to join in praying the family rosary every Wednesday. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit Amen. Go in peace. We find the Lord by your light. Thanks be to Amen. God. Amen. <laughs> 